Howdy, me Bloodbart here, and welcome back. Just want to kind of continue with what I was doing here. Um, I am going to be copying some files over and getting everything ready to rock and roll here. Um, I created a clone of this project. We were doing the Polygon Town is what we we're doing, and I don't see the project that I just created. Um, I went ahead and set up the stuff that I needed to do a version of my simple multiplayer to use with the um, the template that we're just doing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy everything over, but I got to find the project. The project is not showing up at the moment. So let me try this again. Right click and I'm going to do a clone and browse the location that I want to use, which is going to be the default location of my documents and Unreal projects. And I'm going to call this TB4 underscore town. And then I'm going to hit create. I told it to do it already and it did not seem to create it. I don't know why. Yeah, I'm having some issues with... Unreal for some reason. Told to create the project, and I've done it twice, and it didn't work. But what I'm doing here is the simple multiplayer template is something that I sell to just try to make a few bucks. Um, I don't really have any income right now, so money is extremely tight. That's why I, I ask for donations and things like that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play in standalone game. And what it is is the simple Steam multiplayer that I sell is based off of the Steam um, subsystem and advanced sessions. So you, to use it, you have to have the adva advanced sessions plugin. So when it comes up, you can see it has the um, access to the Steam community. Um, it's got your Steam username and avatar in the upper right hand corner of the screen. You can play in single player or multiplayer or hit um, exit game. Multiplayer, you can either host a game or find a game. If you've got a friend that's already hosted one, you can um, open this up and hit Find Lobby. It'll search, and if anything is found, it'll show up right here. You can click on Join and join the game. Or you can click on Host, give it a server name, and then hit Make, and it'll go ahead and create your game. So it'll actually be a multiplayer, and um, I don't think I have much of a limit. I think I set the limit like on 50 people. I don't think you want to be running 50 people on your, your own internet connection. But that's that's what you get with that. You hit escape and get your main menu and go back to the main menu or resume game and then you can hit exit game and there you go. So it's simple. It's Steam. It's multiplayer. It works. And I just wish the hell... Um, the epic clone feature was working correctly so I don't know why it's not doing it so I go into the, the folder that I told it to actually put it into and there's the projects it's not going into that that project folder that I told it to go to and I go away from it and go back and it's still not there so I don't know what is going on with Unreal Engine 4 but it's not doing as I'm telling it to do and that's kind of making me angry because all the work we just did on the Polygon Town, I want to copy into that, the Simple Multiplayer 4.20, and I said, I am telling it to clone. I'm telling it to go to a specific file location, and it's, I'm telling it to go here and create it in this folder, select folder, and telling it a name that I want, tb four underscore town and everything is good and hit create it may contain code we'll rename the project for you but you might need to do extra work whatever it always says this I'm not worried about that and for some reason it's just not gonna work so let's shut it down and I'm going to go ahead and exit, and hopefully, hopefully, it'll work whenever I relaunch everything. 
I will do it in 419 if I have to, but I wanted to do it in 420 because that's the latest version. And I'm looking in here and I don't see anything. So I'm going to try this one more time. I'm going to hit clone, browse, go to the location I'm telling it to go to, and select TB, TB4 underscore town. And then create. Normally it takes a couple seconds and then it pops up and then it shows it in here and it's usable at that point. And I can also go into the uh, the main folder and it's there. It's actually not doing it, so I'm going to have to go about this a different way because it's torquing me off. And I don't want to do a new project and then copy the stuff in because I've already got all of the... Um, the plugins and everything set up and ready to go. But if I, I do look at it and say clone, or I mouse over it, actually, it's showing it's in Marketplace, Symbol Multiplayer. Okay, it's in my Marketplace. Yeah, I, I tried to put this on the Marketplace, and because it uses a third person, a third party plugin, they would not allow it. So my marketplace, simple multiplayer 4.20. Sorry, I'm working in off screen again. So this is the location of it right here. And I got content, simple multiplayer, all this is there. So I guess what I'm gonna end up having to do is go into the content folder. And I hate to do this that way. I don't know why this is being a pain in the butt. Um, let me actually try this in 419 and see if, if it works with 419. Right click, clone, browse, and my documents. We want it to go into Unreal Projects and then try this again. TB4 underscore town create and continue and it's the epic launcher itself is not actually doing what it was doing before you know recently the latest version of the launcher is actually screwing this up and it's not creating what I'm telling it to create that way I've done this dozens and dozens and dozens of times for every project that I work on I do the same thing so that I can actually create that for me to work with so I'm actually going to go ahead and clone this folder and I'm going to drop it into the projects right here and I'll end up with a second one so what I'll do is I'll actually hmm. I'm going to close this version and delete it actually Um, no, it's going to want to delete it from that folder. So it's just going to be a pain in the ass to work with one way or the other. But I'm just going to copy it over here and copy it into that folder. So now it's physically there. So let's see. It's not showing a second one in here. So I'm going to close that out and see what happens now. I'm going to open back in the Epic Launcher. And I'm having to spoof it because it's not working the way it's supposed to. Welcome back, B. Flubart. Why, thank you. Um, there we go. So now I have two copies of it. So what I'll do is... I want to mouse over it and see that's in the Marketplace one. And this is the new copy we just created. So, I don't, like I said, I don't know why this is not working the way it's supposed to. I'm going to try doing this again. It's in the correct folder, and we're going to call this TB4 underscore town. Try this. Whoa. What the hell is all that? Ugh. Unreal Engine, you are pissing me off today. 
clone. Everything shows good there, so let's change this. TB4. Why is it adding in multiple copies on the end of this? Underscore. Wow, it is just absolutely being uh, stupid. <laughs> Am I the only person that this ever happens to? So let's delete that. And let's delete that. Okay, so now it's saying, why is there, oh God, this is just absolutely just dumb. I don't, I absolutely don't get it. Um, this is something that I've never had problems with. I've always used the clone feature, and that's how I've done all of my projects, is I clone my simple multiplayer, and then I start working on that. Uh, so I don't know what's going on with this. I, I don't know if I need to just restart my computer or what. But, yeah. And... Oh, I have duplicates of it now. Civil multiplayer, and then, okay, new project 4.2, never mind, okay, settle down, it'll be all right. Yeah, the, the, why? Because I'm Real Engine 4. Um, file, I absolutely am baffled as why this is actually not working the way it's supposed to. I've never had to do that. I mean, to, to browse again, I mean, I always have just hit clone, set the address, a, a location where I wanted to go, set the name, hit OK, or hit create, and then OK, and then boom, it's done. I, I've never had any problems with it whatsoever. Um, I just, you can see you got simple multiplayer here and here, got all the ones that I was working on before. Um, I guess what I'm going to end up having to do is I, I don't want to have to copy this stuff over, but I may have to, and it's going to cause problems because I'm going to lose my key bindings um, because I want to keep the name correct. Ugh. Let's look at project settings. See if there's anything I can do in here. Um, um, da -da -da, whatever. Multiplayer test project. Flowbart Gaming. Yeah, this is... <laughs> this is terrible. Um, supported platforms. It's not all platforms. It's only Windows. I'm only going to package it for Windows. Alright, so if I try copying this over and... Because it works. I mean, this works. I, if I go into and I hit play in standalone game, it takes a second, it'll open up, the menu works, everything works. Um, See, the Steam stuff is working, logo there is working, exit game, multiplayer, host, make, I can go into a game, I can walk around, I can do my thing. Everything is working, the escape menu works, hit resume game if I want to, main menu, exit, everything works the way it's supposed to. Um, if I try to manually drag those files in, what's going to happen is it's going to break a lot of stuff but I will try. I will do um, file, open project, 
and I'll go back into what we were working on. And I'm going to delete the one that I was doing here after I get done with this. Um, Plague on Town, and that's what we're working on. I didn't want to work on it in this particular version of it, but in all honesty, I, I don't know what's going on with that. Um, if I actually go now and grab, well, first off, what I'm going to have to do is edit, go to plugins. I need to enable my Steam plugins here and restart. Make sure those plugins are there and working. So now whenever the project comes back up again, this is by no means a problem with the um, Cindy Studios project. I promise this is not with them. This is something new that's just recently started with Unreal Engine 4 that's making my life a miserable hell. So I'm going to go back into the, um, the files and I'm going to go to um, Simple Multiplayer 420 go into content I don't have my key bindings so that's not really a big deal I'm gonna hit that and that that's already there I don't need that don't need that um, I, I know I need these two maps and UI put that in content and then in the characters player blueprints um, I'm gonna copy that in there characters player just for now and I know that if I go into the player folder and the blueprints and go to my player base, there's going to be some things that are not going to work correctly. Input action escape menu. So what I need to do now is I need to, first off, escape menu needs to be created as a key binding. I need to copy this. I'm doing this the hard way because Unreal Engine 4 is just messed up. So go into here and go into input, action mapping, add a new one, escape menu, and I need it to be a sneeze. Escape. Okay. So I got that set as two words. Let's compile and no, it's supposed to be one word. I created this um, the multiplayer template a year ago and I've been using it for so many freaking projects. Um, let's try one word. Escape menu. There we go. And now it works. So now that I've got this uh, this copied from my player base, I need to go into my actual blueprint for my Polygon player, and I can get rid of that because the quit game I actually got right after screwing around with it. So the problem that's going to happen here, and let's hit compile and save. So now that should work. Is there anything else in player base that we need to worry about? No, that's it. So player base is done. Our character should be good. Our UI. We need to look through our UI just a little bit. Um, assets. Those should be okay. Audio. Images. I may have to adjust a few things. Main menu game mode should be okay. HUD should be okay. Escape menu widget. That should be okay. Main menu map. Uh, no, that should be okay. And I need to look at the 
maps folder for Polygon Town, and I need to get demonstration so that I can put this in here. All right, you guys have to close your eyes. You can't see this. This is like top secret junk here. Um, lobby map. You can't see this. This is like top secret stuff here. Single player. So if we click single player, we want to go to demonstration map. If we go to... You, you don't see any of this. This is, this you know, top secret stuff. Close your eyes. Compile and save. Alright, so you, you can't see any of that. that. That was top secret stuff there. So let's go into our maps folder. We no longer need the lobby map because we're not going to use that. We've gotten rid of the references to it. We'll go to our main menu map. We're going to hit play in standalone game. Let's see if we broke anything. So it comes up as Polygon Town. Go connect to Steam, dummy. All right, I'm going to have to fix that. Um, I should be connected to Steam. Yeah, right there. All right, yeah, i got to fix that issue. Um, so if I hit multiplayer, host, and make, it should now go into our map. Yep. I did change it while I was off camera so that it randomly picks your character and it, I put in an, uh, at least one or two extra spawn points. Um, I haven't done the rest of the um, stuff. Yeah, the, um, the nav mesh bounds. But I did change the character around to your shopkeeper now so you can walk around. She doesn't move. She just stands there. Not sure why there's a pull toy here, but yeah, I guess that's where you're going to come to buy them. So, okay, and we hit escape. Lovely. I can hit resume game. That works. Hit escape and main menu. There we go. goes back to the main menu, but now it's telling me that I'm not connected to Steam. So, my UI widgets. Um, nope, not that one. Server list. Did I break that? Um, no, you don't see any of this. This is magic. Um, main menu. It's got to be broken in here somewhere. Um, that's fine. Something is broken somewhere. Search should work. Steam data for upper right hand corner. Yeah, something's broke somewhere. I got to figure that out. Um, but this will get us a little bit closer. One thing I do need to accomplish is I need to hit play again. Go in here and play the game in standalone mode so I can get a screenshot. It'll also be close enough for me to get a, a screenshot of the inside the game. So I will fix that um, Steam connection issue. And let's hit V to change our view. And let's find somewhere. Um, next street over. A moving van here. You know, clean your crap out of the damn driveway. What's wrong with you? Um, and let's get our view from over here, maybe. I want to take a screenshot of this and print screen. Let's see if that works. Main menu, let's exit. Open up GIMP. And I wanted to have an image for the main main menu. GIMP free program. There we go. Control Alternate V. Yes, it shows my entire desktop. But all we're worried about is crapping out. I mean, cropping out this image right here. And I don't really want to be precise right now. I'm just gonna Control C, Control Shift V. 
don't you need the original? Control Shift E. We're going to save this as a PNG. We're going to put this somewhere. F drive. Many, many A's. And create new folder. Uh, we're going to call this new shit. And. Tony, export, whatever, whatever. All right, so that's good. We're going to save that, and I'll import that back into Unreal Engine 4. We don't need you. You can go away. Now I just need to come back in here. Go to my F drive, mini A's, new shit, images, drag that in here. And there we go. So I can go back into my menu, hit save all, widget, main menu, and we need to add a image here. This should be Z order of negative five. This should get a Z order of negative four and we need to go back to here. This is a nice little shortcut is if you go to your image, I'm going to click on it there and then I'm come in here and I'm going to go ahead and find my brush and click the arrow next to image and there you go. And I'm going to anchor this to full screen and I'm just going to go ahead and set it right here to overlap that red line just a hair and take it full screen. So now we have a nice little image here and we'll still have our, our border on the side. Again, like I said, I will fix the Steam connection issue. Um, that just happens sometimes whenever you're dealing with the dumbness of UE4. And now we need our music because this is boring. So let's go ahead and add our music in. Let's go to our audio folder. Even though we have an audio folder up here, this is going to be menu assets. And we got our click sound. We did our dusty tear jerker earlier. Um, got a bunch of different ones that I've already converted over to WAV files, uh, MP3. These are again from Technoax. They are um, new. Um, Royalty free and pretty damn good. Yeah, no. Um, new tunes. Here, that's the uh, city sound that I use in um, the sci fi one. I don't like that one. Um, you know what? For now, I'm going to put it in there. And I'm going to go ahead and right click. And you know what? I don't need to make that a sound cue. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and hit save all. Then go to blueprints, open level blueprint. And anytime you go back to the main menu, it's going to destroy the session. That way, when you're in a multiplayer environment, going back to the menu disconnects the the, the server and the the client. Without it, you're going to have some issues. So that's why I have that in here. So every time I go back to the main menu, bam, it, it destroys your session. So you before what was happening is you the host left, the clients were screwed. They couldn't do anything. They had to exit the game and come back in. So that's just that's just something that worked for for my my porpoises. So we need to do a sequence and I want to bring off of the sequence node. I'm going to go ahead and play sound at location. Now there's a couple ways you can go about doing this for adding in the um, the background music. The sound that we want to use was our and the story goes on. 
you can you don't have to worry about attenuation because you're already already there. Um, volume multiplier, I'm multiplier, multiplayer, whatever the hell. I'm gonna put that at 0 0.4. Kind of turn the sound down a little bit. And if you create it as a sound cue, you can create it as a looping sound, or you can actually do it this way. Either way it works. Um, it's better to do it as a sound cue, but you can come in here and see that the duration is 191.92. So if I did 192, um, at the end of it playing, we can get it to loop back. But we can just put a delay in and just tell it to loop, 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 back and forth like that, creating an infinite loop. But I'm just going to go ahead and create a cue. Doesn't matter what I call it. Um, I didn't mean to hit play on that. All right, sorry. We'll go into it and we select the individual sound file itself, hit looping and save. And we can close that and then change this to the queue. And now it will automatically loop for us and we've turned the volume down. So now whenever we go into our main menu, we will have music playing and it won't be blowing our freaking eardrums out. Lovely. So it's just a matter of fixing that, the Steam stuff. Um, everything else seems to be pretty good. Like I said, um, there were not any other suggestions on what I need to add in here than... Um, I'll start getting ready to wrap it up and package it and get it ready to upload. I just need to go through and fix that one little thing of the uh, the Steam connection issue. It's not in the escape menu. Um, I could, however, add a third option in here to where you got main menu, resume game, or you can just exit from there. And all I have to do is just drag this down a little bit. I'll grab the... Why do I have image zero in there? Um, I don't know I have an image there. But I could actually add in another button right there. Um, I don't know where that collision issue is. I really don't. Um... I just, I can't find it, you know? If we go in here and play, let me try it in this mode and see if that makes any difference. I doubt it will, but go into single player. Hey, aren't we beautiful? Um, where's our house? It is right over here. Yeah, I've already been running around this town enough to, to know where I am. Dude, you left the crib outside. Hello. Mm, interesting view there. So when you go in, go in through the garage, make a left, or come in through the front door, we fit through here with no problem now. We can start going up the stairs, but for some reason, it is blocking right there. It just can't quite get through there. And I, I didn't set up a crouch feature and functionality because we're just using a standard unarmed. So cannot get up the stairs for some reason. Um, I don't know what's going on with that. Um, I said I've looked at and we fixed all the other collision issues. Um, let's actually go back into the actual map itself so we don't have to keep going into standalone mode. Um, go to the map here, load the map. And then we'll change this play option to play in selected viewport. And now we're here. So what we're going to have to do is I'm, I'm going to have to sit there and, and nitpick that one little spot. It's going to bug the crap out of me because you can't get by on the stairs. Yeah, I'm all right. And it doesn't matter which character we're on. And we can see that there's physically... There's plenty of room. There should be no reason why we can't fit through here. There's something at that point. And if I come up, like, like I showed before, if I come over here and right-click and play from here, 
Now we're upstairs. We can walk around upstairs no problem whatsoever, but we get stuck at the same point. So I, I got to find what's there, what's what the issue is. So if I come over here, I can't quite jump over the um, the railing to get down. So we're stuck. If we do manage to get upstairs, we're stuck upstairs. And that's an awful lot of damn crows in that nature sound that I put in there. You know what? The only thing I can think of is nah, there shouldn't be a problem with that tile. There, there, there. None of these should be a problem. Should. Should not be a problem. That's the, that's the key. That is interior wall upper floor filler zero one so I'm gonna have to go through and is that the same one as here yes it is the same one so if I were to go to see it's a matter of, of grasping at straws I can't talk today I just did not sleep well my brain is not functioning right now um, buildings we are looking for I guess I could have done that right there at the the search feature and it would have gone right to it but whatever so if I open that up and we can see that's all it is just that little bar but I am just for the sake of it I'm gonna change that collision over like we did on some of these other ones and see if that actually does anything so let's hit play from here. Yeah, that, that was it. That was the collision issue right there. So now we can walk up and down the stairs and it was just that one that one tile had a screwed up collision on it and it was preventing us from going up and down the stairs. So now if you're running into that kind of an issue and you're wanting to be able to use this demonstration map and you're trying to figure out what it is um, all I did was when you come in is I selected the stairs individually and I did that and this right here right here which was this I, I selected that particular tile right there and then I clicked on the the magnifying glass it took me right to it I scroll down to collisions and I change use complex collision as simple instead of um, project default and that was good enough to take care of the issue I did that on that tile the stair tiles themselves and on all three stores because the collision was preventing you from getting inside the stores so that's fixed all the collision issues that were that we had totally completely awesomely so now if I just hop in here to play, I can now walk in. Go over here to the stairs, walk upstairs, no problem. Go to the bedroom, no problem. Hit the V key so I can change my view. So I'm in a first person view now. That door is not open all the way, but it's open enough. Um, this bedroom here, the bathroom, there's some little bit of wiggly, but that's just because I, I didn't change all the settings that I needed to change for the, uh, the view. Really? That's awesome. Even got wall outlets. I would be weird and I would change the textures like for the picture frame and make that. Um, look at the reflections on the TV screen. absolutely just we well first it's not reflecting anything that's there it's reflecting what's actually somewhere else like the HDRI file or whatever it's called but damn so if I get out of the way um, if I really want to spend some time with it I would actually put something on the TV screen that would be a good place to be running a uh, commercial for Cinti Studios, or one of their promo videos. So if you wanted to be able to do that, you'd have to go into the um, the TV and there's a couple different TVs. There's a wall TV and one that mounts on a table like that. 
and what you could do is actually create it's not like a five minute quick fix you're having to create a um, a blueprint for the television you're gonna have to create um, a media player and attach the media player that way or you can actually create a blueprint and a widget and attach the widget to the blueprint and the widget itself the widget blueprint itself would actually contain the media source for the the video that you attach inside the files playing with a media player and you could actually then attach that widget to that static mesh in a blueprint and set up uh, sound attenuation like I was messing around with for the car stereo for the truck so when you walk into the room you look at that TV screen or any TV screen you can do the set up with that blueprint you could put 10 of them all around the city and they would work independently from each other and they would play that individual the, the, the TV show or the commercial or whatever you want on your, your widget could actually be displayed on that screen so if I want to take the time to do it, um, and actually I ought to talk to Cinti, see if they, they think it's a good idea. Um, get like a promo video. I mean, I can actually do YouTube, but with the YouTube videos, you cannot do sound attenuation. So I would not be able to turn the volume off. So if you're right here watching it, it's the same volume level if you're all the way over here it won't matter you can't adjust the volume of a YouTube video being streamed in a widget on a static mat it's hard to explain but I had a lengthy conversation with a sound engineer from Epic Games and he was ready to shoot me because I was telling him exactly what I wanted and why I was upset that it wasn't working with what I was doing and he's like well it's not possible you can't do that I'm like dude, can I show you a YouTube video of it working? But it's the point that I can't get the sound attenuation to work is what the problem is. It's like, yeah, but you can't. Yeah, yes, I can, and I am. I'm doing, but it's not working the way I want it to. That's why I'm talking to you. And, I mean, he was ready to, just, like, explode. I mean, his brain was, was fizzling because I'm sitting there trying to get something to work that shouldn't possibly be working to begin with. And... I've got video up showing that I've got um, YouTube video playing. I have a YouTube video of Unreal 4 playing a YouTube video. Does that make sense? <laughs> I've got a video, a YouTube video of a YouTube video in a game. The hell is this box hovering in the air? Post processed volume. Okay, never mind. All right, what do I? What else do I need to add here? Why is this truck crooked in the damn road? I mean, what else do I need to... Besides fixing the... Um, the... Steam connection issue. For the multiplayer portion of it. I was picking on... The um, guys from Cindy Studios. Um, this garbage truck is on the wrong side of the road. Um, and... Polygon City, the um, the vehicles were positioned like they would be for America. You can see got an American flag. It's America, baby. You got um, vehicles on the right hand side, but when you look at the way the traffic lights were designed by them, the traffic lights are on this side coming up, and they were on the uh, the left hand side of the road instead of being on the right hand side of the road for traffic on the right. Um, I'm not sure about. New Zealand, that's where they're from, but I know in Australia they drive on, on the other side, the left-hand side of the road. So that would be fine for that kind of traffic, but for America, where this is supposed to be, um, it wasn't right. So we parked our truck here in the way. It gets in the way of our NPCs walking down the street. So let me know what else do I need to put in here, or is this good enough? Just got to fix my multiplayer issue, and then should be good to go. I think everything else is good. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do save all, save selected. 
Yeah, I've got some, some NPCs. I don't have them all over the entire city. Do I need to put them all over the city, or is it just fine there? I'm going to go ahead and put in a couple other player starts. So it, it just is random whenever you, you come into it. So I'm going to grab a player start here and rotate it around a little bit. Oh, it's a bad size. Oh, I love it when that happens. Um, so now I just have some random starts. So if you do want to play this with somebody else to walk around and check it out and show it off, like, oh, man, uh, you, you got to check this out. Um, you'll be able to, as long as you're on the same Steam region, then it's no problem. Like, I'm in South Carolina and in the U.S. And my buddy in New Jersey and my buddy in whatever, anybody on the East Coast from Canada all the way down through New York, New Jersey, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Florida, all those are all in the same Steam region. Um, so anybody that's in that same Steam region can join in and play together. Uh, it's like um, UK anybody in the UK and certain parts of uh, EU, uh, Europe can play that kind of stuff um, that should be good enough how many player starts do I got that's five player starts I'm going to add one more just so it's an even half dozen so if that's good enough then um, I will go ahead and drop off of this stream I will fix the um, the the issue that I have with the connection on the the steam connection I'll figure out what's going on with that I've seen that error before um, it's just one of those things I need to go to my maps folder main menu map save selected so, to kind of give you an idea of what it's going to look like in the Try Before You Buy version, what will happen is, and I'm going to play this in standalone, so we get an idea of how it's going to look. Um, the first time I mentioned to do a, a Try Before You Buy series to somebody, well, you can't do that because I don't want you to give away my, my stuff. They're not going to get the assets. You're just getting a, a walk-around visual aspect of the, the, the thing. So, like I said, I will fix this. I will fix the Steam connectivity issue. But you got the menu, and I'm going to drag this image over a little bit because there's a little black seam right there. That'll bug me. i got to fix that image. Um, nice little background image, background music. You can either just go bang, go right into single player and walk around. And it'll automatically... This window is just to kind of simulate what the game is going to be like. It'll randomly generate you as a, any one of the the nine characters and between six different spawn points and you can walk around town you're good to go hit escape go back to the main menu if you want to host a game hit multiplayer hit host give it a name hit make and now your friends can hit find and look for your game and then join you now I'm beautiful see I'm beautiful so it's random each time. Now, currently I don't have it set up to where I am I spawned in as a woman with a yellow dress with blue stripes. You spawn in, you walk over and look at me, I might be that girl with the purple top on. Or I might be this girl with the miniskirt. Or whatever. Um, I didn't do any of that, so whatever. It doesn't really matter. The whole point is, um, yeah, the collision on the truck, the bed isn't right but the whole point is hello upskirt um, you'll be able to walk around you'll be able to get your friends to join you and walk around you can all check it out together if you're working on a project like okay this is awesome we need to do this we should do that oh let's go over here and take a look at this or let's go to this store over here or let's go one street down let's go take a look at whatever this lets you get a good feel for what's going on and it, with that multiplayer aspect of it you can Instead of just playing with yourself, you can play with your friends. Crickets chirping, right? Surprised that car fits over the, uh, the, the little crappy road section there. 
Typically, road patches aren't sticking that proud of the road. They're usually big-ass potholes. <laughs> this is America. We got potholes. That's why we drive big old 4x4s. I... Yeah. That's what a lot of people think about Americans. And I, I would really be offended by that, but, um... I have two Jeeps that are both four-wheel drive. Well, to be technical about it, I have a Jeep... Um, Grand Cherokee 5.9 Limited. It's a 5.9 liter um, Hemi engine with uh, all-wheel drive. Not four-wheel drive. Well, it can work in four-wheel drive, but it's all-wheel drive. Imagine I am uh, Evo with a V8. Yeah. It is a freaking monster. A 360 cubic inch V8 engine with all-wheel drive, and it is a badass machine. My other Jeep is actually a 1960 Willys CJ5. So, technically, yes, I have two four-wheel drive vehicles. But I don't listen to country music. I don't chew tobacco, and I don't have a rebel flag hanging out in my front yard. Hell, I don't even have an American flag in my front yard. So, yeah, I don't fit into the stereotypes. I will fix the steam issue, and I will go ahead and get it packaged, and I will get it online for anybody to download. I will change the description of this video. I didn't change it between the last stream and this stream. I just kind of took a break and walked away for a little bit. Um, I will change the names a little bit, but I'll go ahead and I'll get this packaged and ready to ship, and everybody will be able to download it and check it out. Alrighty. I think we're good to go then. Alright guys, catch me up on Discord, and I'll let you know whenever everything's ready to, to go uploaded and ready to go. Thanks for watching. We'll see you.